we're going to be going by Cape from Jenny in a couple of minutes. It's an active volcano between Grenada and Curacao off the island Isle de Ron. I'll show you on our Navionics. There it is. So we'll just be going on the outskirts of it. The sailing's prohibited through Cape of Jenny. Good sail here going right now. Kikim Jenny, an active underwater volcano. Just arrived in Tyrell Bay, Iriaku. We have not been here before to Tyrell Bay. Beach just off the Sandy Island. Or Sandy Island. Here's the hill we have to come up and down with our bikes at Tyrell Bay. What you doing, Andrew? Well, we've got a bilge pump in here that dries a bone, but the alarm keeps going off on it and it keeps turning on. So, and the guy who installed it put it in such a spot that I couldn't get it off its mount without a great deal of difficulty. So I'll re uh, remount it in a See, there See? you go. <laughs> There's no water in there. So we got a switch that's doing some funny stuff. So I'm going to have a look inside the connections here. It's pretty annoying to listen to that all day. Yeah, for the last couple days it's just been going. Every five minutes it goes for a short time. It makes us feel like we're sinking. What did you find? It says pump check right here it says hold for five seconds touch here one two three four well we know it works so that seems to be operational but it thinks so there's maybe water maybe this piece here thinks there's water in there for, for some, some reason. reason yeah so now I've cleaned it all up so it's got no excuse. Isn't the smoke alarms at home? Wasn't it because spiders would go in it and set them off? So maybe this is the same thing. Maybe there was some dust in there. Yes, maybe the dirt on the sensor. Yeah. So the sensor went in there like that. Yes. And it was covered in dirt. So I'll mm. clean this part up and we'll see how it makes a difference. Yep, maintenance. I guess we haven't done enough maintenance lately. It was all about maintenance and now we're just like all about swimming. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. You live on a boat. Uh-oh. Into oblivion the screw. Found it. Yay. I just finished explaining to Leanne that this person who installed this pump was a bit of a jerk. He installed it so close to the side of the bilge. It was right there. And these tabs go inside the unit like like that. Mm -hmm. To take the pump off the mount because the mount is screwed and you can't get the pump off. You can't get the mount off until you take the pump off. You couldn't get your finger in beside the bilge to push to press this switch to get it off. So there was a lot of swearing happening. Yeah, and there's more water in there for me sweating than there has been in there for months. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move this away from the bilge. I'll put it somewhere here. So now I've moved the bilge pump from there to here and now I can get my fingers in side it to take it off much more easily. When the pup was over there that process to take it off of this took me 45 minutes and now that I've moved it it only took me five seconds to get it off and if you look at the pipe this is how much I had to cut off the pipe and I'm sure the installer when he put the bilge pump in was too lazy to take this two inches off 
to make it easy. And we're hoping now this will stop the pump noise. The alarm. The alarm. Bilge alarm. Oh, do you guys want to hear the bilge alarm? I'm, I'm doing an imitation. <laughs> uh, let's do the real thing. I can make it go. Here's the bilge alarm. Okay, one, two, three, everybody. That's what we listen to every five minutes or so. Ugh. Good morning. We are checking out in Kariakou this morning at Tyrell Bay. Andrew left an hour and a half ago. I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully the checkout process is going okay. Something's going on. It's either busy or they weren't open at 8 o'clock on time. But we're just going to Union Island this morning, check in at Clifton, and then make our way around to Chatham Bay and anchor there for a couple days until the winds switch from northeast. And we'll see you at Union Island. Oh, here he comes. What took so long? Oh, the guy was late and then I had to go to the bank for money. So we cost to check out? Yep. Like I said? 150 EC. Wow. So you could pay 75 bucks a month for a cruising permit. That's right, but you told them we weren't here for August? It didn't matter because yeah, your boat has to be on the hard to be exempt for that month. Ah, uh, okay. Good to know. Andrew's gone in to check in here in Clifton on the island, Union Island. Uh, I don't like it at this check-in because the holding's really bad. It's a coral, all coral on the bottom with just a little layer of sand on top. So it's very hard to get holdings. They have balls everywhere. We managed to get some holding here at 5.3 meters of water and just for temporary half an hour while we check in and out. Tell that bad boy don't come around. Tell him I know I ain't leaving town. See, I'll be lying here in a ball of blue. You're the kind of ball I lie next to. Today, I need a break. Today, I made a mistake. Today, I need a break. Today, I made a mistake. Finding these on the beach. If I lose you, I Today, I need a break. Thank you for watching this episode of Sailing Wave Riders. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And follow along on our Garmin map share to see where we head next week. Bye. Bye for now.